Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. So today I'm going to be reacting to Ami Did That Comeback Hit Part 1 of 12. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. I declare that there is no other object of worship but Allah and I bear witness and testify that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, is his final messenger. I begin by greeting you on the second weekend of Ramadan with the Islamic greeting of Assalamu Alaikum. Uh, by way of introduction this morning, I would just like to say a few words before handing over to Sheikh Ahmad Dida to conduct the classes to which you have responded here this morning. The classes that we are going to conduct, uh, I'd just like to clarify for you so you don't have any misconception. As you are aware, most of you, I presume, are residents of Durban with uh, Sheikh Didat's reputation and his <coughs> lifelong work. He's a scholar in comparative religion with particular expertise on the Christian doctrines. And when we speak of comparative religion, it ideally means that we are supposed to give you a comparison of the different religions, the ideologies, their beliefs, etc. The class that we have got this morning is a very specialized course, and it is not a course on comparative religion per se. That does not mean that elements of it cannot be used. The class as advertised is for a very specific purpose. The class that you are that you have attending this morning or the knowledge you are going to get is for a very specific purpose and as the advert said, to arm yourselves. To arm yourselves because in our community that we live in, we are of late been getting numerous complaints from members of our community, members of the public, that our community, the Muslim community, the Hindu community, and even members in the black community are being harassed by the missionary activities of people knocking at the doors. There is no harm, we believe, from us putting our point of view across and listening to other points of views. but. For those of you who've had the experience of having people calling at your door, you will find that it is not a case of people coming to ask and exchange ideas in a respectful way. We are actually being harassed. Now, I'd just like to find out before I continue any further, is there anybody in this room that has not had the experience of having a missionary coming and knocking at the door, peddling their ways, trying to sell you the ideology. Is there anybody in this room who has not had that experience? So I can see from the fact that nobody's putting up their hands, you'll all know what I'm talking about. I don't think that we object, we must be very clear on this, of listening to somebody else's point of view. It's Islamic for us. But I think that we must take steps when we are being harassed at our own doorsteps. Now the course this morning, Mr. Didat, by way of methodology, is going to give you a little bit of a shock treatment He's actually going to give you a sledgehammer. We don't have hours and hours and days and days to teach you all the ideologies of the different religions, etc., etc., uh, because there are different forums for different things. Now, I can liken it by way of analogy to having a shock treatment when you have a heart attack. You know, when you're having treatment, if you're not well with heart, the doctor prescribes certain tablets for you. He may keep you in observation, etc. But when you have a heart attack, the surgeon on hand has to take very drastic action to get your heart going again. He'd have to sometimes inject you directly in the heart, or as most of us have seen on television, they bring those electrodes and shock you back so you can get things done. So Mr. D. that today, by way of explanation, is going to show you how you can arm yourself with the knowledge that you will get in this two-hour session. I'm not going to ask you to sit back and enjoy a lecture because it's not a lecture, it's going to be a working session. You will work for two hours and you will be given 
uh, methodology and methods where you could directly use, use it to be able to overcome this threat that comes through to our door. Now, I'm reminded of a, of a story that took place at the time of our prophet when he was reputedly uh, taking a rest, uh, uh, taking a bit of a rest under a tree, and an unbeliever went up to him, drew his sword and stuck it through to him and said, now, O Muhammad, who is going to save you now? And the Prophet, without blinking, before the person knew how it happened, suddenly was able to rest the sword and turned it to the person and said, well, now tell me who's going to save you. Allah has saved me, who is going to save you? So likewise, the, what you are going to get today is not from a Quranic point of view how to tackle certain things. The very ideology that is being brought through to your door and is being given through to you, Mr. Didat will show you today in two hours and you will be amazed at the end of this. I don't know how many of you have paid for this cause. If you're not happy, you can get a refund. That's how confident I am that you will get it. He will show you how you'll be able to take this and, and turn it back to your advantage. So that I wanted to just clarify and explain so that when you go away from here, you knew exactly what you've come in for so that there is no misgivings when you've gone away saying that I thought Mr. Didat was a scholar of comparative religion. He is. But the course that I got, I really thought it was going to be, he's going to tell us about the different religions, etc. No, it is a short, intensive, very intensive two-hour course. There will be a little bit of homework for you after you go away for life. If you want to continue it, I urge you to continue it. But what you'll be given, you'll be armed with a sledgehammer where I know that the people we've had on this course, I've got a letter upstairs from a group of people that came in here from an Islamic organization who have written as a group and said that they are now actually looking forward to the missionary to come to the, the door. They, they're actually now ready because for the first time they are armed. I have taken six minutes of your time. I want to thank you for giving off your time on a busy Saturday morning in Ramadan. And I also want to thank Sheikh Dideh uh, as president of the IPCI at his age. He has people doing the work for him. He doesn't need to come in on a Saturday morning, but to come out all the way from Verlum to come and share his knowledge with us. We really appreciate it. So I look forward uh, to us receiving this knowledge, and I'm sure everybody will find it beneficial. Jazakallah, shukran. I call upon Mr. Didat. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كنتم خير أمة أخرجت للناس تأمرون بالمعروف وتنحون عن المنكر وتؤمنون بالله ولو آمن أحل الكتاب لكان خير لهم منهم المؤمنون وأكثرهم الفاسقون صدق الله صدق الله نور الرزيم ما يدري شلون Brothers and sisters, I read to you an ayah, a verse from the Holy Quran from Surah Ali Imran. Ali Imran happens to be chapter 3. And ayah number 110. In it, Allah says, Kuntum khaira ummatin ukhrajat linnas, that you are the best of people evolved for mankind. Because you enjoin what is right and you forbid what is wrong. And you believe in Allah. As soon as this honor, this privilege, this high state is given to us, a certain responsibility is imposed upon us. No honor without responsibility. And the responsibility is, Allah continues in that ayah, the same verse, but if the people of the book, who are the people of the book? Jews and Christians. But if the people of the book, but if the people of the book, they hearken to this message, they listen to this message, they accept this message, it will be better for them. In other words, it will be better for you. Among them, there are good people, mu'mins. But the majority of them are perverted transgressors. Now, this verse is so versatile, is so adaptable, that one can deliver half a dozen, I can ha deliver half a dozen different lectures just on this verse. I have tried it, half a dozen different lectures, I can I have heard people quoting the ayah and delivering a lecture, something quite different. 
Next person, again, you hear the same ayah and delivering another lecture entirely different. It's a very versatile, adaptable verse. But now, six lectures just on that. I'm, I'm not a scholar, I'm not a learned man, not an alim, but I can give you six lectures on that. Have you got the time? Um, I guess the lesson hasn't started yet because not much has said, so not much can be spoken about. Um, I mean, people are going to want to spread what they believe in, in whatever means they feel like. They feel like they have to print out booklets and give you on the streets, they'll do that. They feel like they have to knock on your door, they'll do that. They feel like they have to give to a Bible, they'll do that. And mm, as much as people get tired, I mean, that's the way of doing things. While, uh, of course, it should be also encouraged to how people feel about that. If people are coming out and saying we feel harassed, then there should be better ways of actually getting the word out there without having to make people feel uncomfortable. And um, I don't know if things have changed now. Of course, there are denominations that will find you on the road, follow you, take you. Even here it happens in Cyprus. So it's people from churches that will follow you around and say, here's this booklet, you can join online they start giving you some sort of lecture on god and whatnot and that i don't know i don't know I, i'm kind enough to just stop listen and just move on with life but then i really don't know it's really how uh, how someone feels it's all about how someone feels if you're feeling harassed if you're feeling this and that i i'm sure there's better ways people can deliver their messages otherwise you can just tell someone um i don't have time if they're going to get under your skin you know or you don't want to listen to what they're talking about that's one way of um getting rid of people you don't want to talk to let me know what you guys think if there's videos that you want me to react to please please suggest them that will encourage me to keep on reacting make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video